Hey guys, Inferno912 from this side, in this part, I just want to let you know that I still prepare myself uh, for the big changes. This is taking really long. Here's why. To promote units, you need to shed loads of resources all the time, right? The numbers are pretty nice and for me, everything is missing, almost. Okay, I managed to sell some uh, food in my castle area. But look at the deals. And everything on red, all oh, is just just not worth it. This is this is all bullshit, right? So what I want you to you guys to do is spend that extra ten minutes and search. Well not here. Right, close to your castle. This is just like really fast thing. Um, but looking in your allies, like I mentioned, in, I think in some of the video, not don't really remember now. For example, jumping here, check the guy. Right, not so good. Only the wood is kind of some kind of deal. And you keep searching. Sometimes you're not gonna find it, you know, that, that this is completely normal, but but to be honest, if you if you check few of your lines, then you should. Okay, I already did, like you saw on the timer three minutes ago, and there we go. You can sell one million almost food, right? And this is not it. I can buy three over three million woods for twenty percent. Uh, it's uh, above. That's really good. Okay, this is something what my castle need because if I want to do all those researches, uh, so probably I'm gonna need that 40, 50 million uh, in resources. So I'm just trying to finding the ways and the best, you know, the best way to gather, the best way to uh, get all this stuff in. Uh, very fast but uh, usually it's like this if I don't have time to play then I losing all the resources for some well, some of the research like here and again nothing okay so here is another deal uh, for the wood is even better than in other place <coughs> don't want to buy this can buy that stone if you are close you know this is all depends how uh, how much time do you have to play and this is what I'm doing now this is just a short part of the, in a video um, I just gonna combine with another part when I gonna record it <coughs> later on or something first let's sell this before someone else does Okay, it's quite important for me because I need loads, loads of coins. So what I'm doing now? Okay, I going forward. I'm gonna um, sell much food as I can. Uh, I'm gonna exchange all the coins for any resources what I can, and gather enough resources to go with them. Um, and uh, that. Um, research right and then this in this barracks promote your needs and look even the food it's gonna cost me almost half of the food what I have al already so I'm not gonna be left with too much options to do anything else in here everything every every single stuff I need to get it from here and this one that stone buying everything. In one of the videos, I I made a the point that what's the best way to gather resources. That's what I've done there. You need to repeat a lot of times to gather more. But you need to plan your attacks to try to stay safe. It's not always works. 
because nobody can really predict it if somebody else watching you uh, another thing what you can actually do uh, check w what's the activity on the global chat because maybe maybe most of these guys is sleeping or doing something else busy at work families whatever <coughs> uh, so it's always worth to check okay so I got that um, stone uh, now it's time for this wood from here The videos what I'm making is obviously not for the <coughs> very powerful bases. If you have very powerful bases, then uh, you actually, I think, not care about shield that much or not not being scared of any base gonna show up next to you and gonna burn you. Like this 21 million, this is not powerful base. Um, this one, like, no, that's even worse. 43 that's a little better right but this is still still not that powerful base i'm talking about above 80 million and you see guys i'm on the level 16 i'm doing stuff quite slow now i'm doing everything on purpose and other stuff is because i'm busy with um, call of duty world war ii it's not a good game. Shame, absolutely shame. Okay, next what I'm planning to take is gonna be all that stone. <coughs> I know I know I'm gonna lose loads of coins on this, what I actually needed for that research anyway. But then I keep searching in the area. But who knows? Maybe I'm gonna find something what's gonna help me out. Like for example, sell the more more food. Okay, that and definitely f screw the stone. I taking this first. This is great deal. This is what you guys have to looking for. With this mark, the best deals. Okay, let's do this in the same time. this now here closer this game is created to have a long-term gameplay you need to remember that you know guys uh, even if that event not gonna show up I really also a little bit tired of waiting if I will be a little bit in trouble if the event gonna show up even tomorrow and I'm not gonna be ready with all the resources so to be honest I'm gonna push everything on the side any project I'm doing anything any kind of work <laughs> and I'll try to do my way of gathering resources the same way what I actually put it in the last video it's just I'm gonna spend a couple of hours on this and I'm gonna clear that kingdom unless I'm gonna get hit and there's somebody gonna clear me this might happen okay so still a little bit uh, time to go that's all what I'm gonna do uh, now so let's move on all right guys welcome back and this is one of the examples what's happening in this kingdom total war at least between some of the alliances like I've been in this one SOG and the biggest enemy of this uh, this kingdom is WWO, right? Uh, so is a, they have a lots of gold mines. Don't know the reason for that, why they have it at this dungeon. Um, but you can see then there's a total war on it, hitting on the titles and stuff. So I think that be in one of the top alliances need to be ready on a game every day need to work hard for it um, you know building building the team all right uh, higher you know stronger whatever you can do you just doing it and basically and with some of the guys is just like uh, obviously playing mouse and a cat yeah chasing each other all the time 
and here is a perfect example this is already <laughs> happening for I don't know 20 minutes or maybe a little bit longer I just uh, spotted by accident uh, so I just want to show you what's going on obviously none of us are supposed to go for any of this uh, this is between them you know and and this is um, This is a tough fight between the big bases who actually have uh, potential to hit someone like uh, this guy got 132 million almost uh, power uh, Sparta I think is one of the this is the leader uh, so you can see yourself yeah over 400 million power and so my base to compare is uh, only 17 so <laughs> it's a joke right um, Uh, so uh, it's pretty cool, you know something happening in game from another side the people doesn't understand why it's happening like this um, basically Total war means hitting everywhere and any time especially when it's uh, people made it so much hate between each other uh, There is uh, you know changing the names in alliances some of this ever was a uh, different and I've been in a hit on a hit on the titles a couple of times this make me waste lots of uh, troops and you know especially most of the time not the resources I don't really don't care about that uh, but that's the point right so you want to hit it back later on and when it's happening for quite a long time then it's changing to the you know proper war um I don't know how this, how long this is gonna be continue. The the war is already for going for a month or something. <coughs> it's depressing for many players. So lots of them are leaving or changing the alliances. Is lots of merging between each other. Uh, obviously, the uh, some of the players here are those who are actually putting the money into those bases. So don't compare too much of yours if you don't spend your money or well, they're just trying their best you know like here uh, some of them are too strong and other not this is, this is the war game this is exactly the typical example of a war game and then burning each other all over the place so all the time anyway let's just switch this uh, yeah, like this guy yeah, from W W O asking why are you doing this blah 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 Why right, they hit them on a the title or maybe this guy doesn't remember then they are hitting or their alliance Maybe he wasn't there uh, You know all the time Hitting others ruined so many alliances so many of them hate them and others just uh, Traitors of other alliances uh, like one of mine uh, They betray them in the past so they joined WWO and cooperate as the traitors with them and, you know something like this is complicated uh, a bit in this kingdom for now uh, and uh, yeah we'll see how this is gonna go in the future but this is part of this at least is completely normal but you know, it's quite strong as well. So between those kind of bases, the only way what you can do is uh, few guys, few big bases, and then you, as a group, you attacking it, rally, and then hit. Otherwise, it's no point, right? They don't, they're not gonna attack each other, like you know, one on one. Oh, when Juna is arrived, so others feeling more far more better, more safe. They going for gold again and blah blah blah. And so, but the bastards are they are behind the wall, like you can see here. So they have some advantage in all this. This is really not fair in this situation with all this gold and all this stuff in. To be honest but uh, that's how this works yeah <laughs> if you want to avoid this don't join that kingdom that's not just not that's all what i can say i was wanted to uh, record something more interesting for you guys and so 
this is it this is the real game uh, sometimes when I was uh, actually some battles and I think it's no time to record because if you actually in it you need to act fast right fast shield fast uh, teleport fast resources whatever you're doing it you need to uh, go for it the kingdom is not that old but uh, it's interesting you know those uh, teams are quite strong and when they they getting all together uh, so this is pretty tight team so this is actually a good good thing right it doesn't matter if it's my old enemy or not mm, and others trying their best to beat them up right many times Benny tried to failed but they're still gonna be fight is on so we will never know who gonna last in the end there is a few other players who are very strong that's why they control the kingdom otherwise with those without two bases you know how big a difference is this make they will be all gone right right uh, so that's it from this uh, side i'm going back to my castle and i'm trying to do my best thanks for watching and i will see you on my next part right uh, this is the third part in this video i'm just uh, looking on one of the deals quite expensive it's like over a hundred dollars for this the resources uh, mainly i think is it those chest some experience ah. contract i don't know what that is plus gold obviously so what i gonna do first i need to changing my commander to combat is the same with him with the talents maybe it's not the, the i'm not the definitely the strongest or something because like you know my power and everything is quite poor 16 millions now i have uh, some units in the hospital so i'm gonna speed this up now because i'm gonna need it quite big power Okay. I want to take the, those as well, but I think it doesn't let me because of the food. Like I said, it need to sell much as we can, everything out, out. So I did. I changed my food to other resources, and I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so obviously I'm a quite a big minus with the pro food production right now, so I'm losing every every second something, quite a lot. So let's get to it. Let's do whatever I can, and we're starting as before. You know, we need to check it out if it's safe to do it, if it's worth to do it. And I'm taking the risk. You guys see, I got quite a lot of resources right now. How many? Around over 20 million. I'm going to the same base as before. Not just not messing around, just go for it. Quick scout. See, definitely worth it need to clean them all quite nice, really fast it's pretty loud this one I'm gonna hit at least once so now the situation obviously changed again I have everything I need Again, gonna take a little bit of time to clean him uh, his base. See if this one have anything left.
No, usually everyone got something. So it's definitely worth to have a look. Damn it. Right, so this one need to be hit a few times as well. Except, except this uh, adventure, full party need to be on it, so I just need to run quickly out with someone here. And I actually need uh, lots of resources, so this time investing in this. Okay, not, not taking it yet, not collecting, focus on that attack. Obviously this is the dead basis, but like I mentioned in previous videos, this is the point when you want to grow. There's no need to attack the guy and just show off and lose, you know, big part of your troops. Because I'm not bothered in some 20 million power guy gonna show up next to me. I'm bothered about the higher ones. With one or two hits, I can lose everything. With one hit, I'm gonna lose all my troops. When two hits, I'm gonna lose the rest of my resources. So, we really need to act fast, to take whatever we can, grab it. Okay. Keep hitting. Okay, so that one is the empty now. This one is still have it. I'm gonna concentrate the attacks on this. Third one I'm gonna send over there. Quickly checking if I answer. those guys as well that's why we're using the this eight hour shields just in case we need it okay so we got our scouts or everything brilliant resources keep going so we keep attacking it. If anyone have a small base or something, this is a perfect place to be. It's not to get hit because you definitely you need to be like somewhere not too close, not too far. Because anytime you have some some small research to do, anytime you need it, just a little bit more resources, you bam, you have it. You no, know, right next to you. This is for free. Okay, we're done with this. We quickly check the reports of a scout. Bob. Bob is f full of food. Who is next to him? Aya. Castle. Another one have uh, something. But Bob. Bob is my next target. And uh, let's let's try from this side. Okay, we're gonna clean Bob. At the same time, we're gonna send the scout to this guy over there. I don't like to actually place my base too close because then I'm actually losing it. You know, opportunity to send more than one uh, troops in it. Let's keep doing it. At the same time, we're sending uh, the rest of the army over there.
always have to check it out if anyone talking on a chat about our attack or something taking you know some kind of um, attention The only thing what missing for me in this game is control of the sound. Like really. This is something what I really needed. Right, one more. Let's see if there's anything left. Yeah, it's still there. It's great. See, that's right guys, there's no point for me to send it or buy next to it. We have only troops, almost no, none of the... This. You know, what I mean is, is, what's the point to attack the base to losing the troops and not getting nothing in return? Unless you're doing some kind of revenge, or you're doing some task, or you're doing something, you know, because you have to, right? Otherwise, you're just making yourself weak. If you will have uh, something far more like uh, if you will have a hundred twenty million power base, then yes, then you can go for it, you know. I was really wanted to check this guy out. <coughs> Yeah, nothing special. Oops. Mm, need that guy. Quickly. My, they got some troops. Can easily destroy it, but I really no time. But what I mean by time is. Um, if you will have so many resources, then it's no point to just like proving your circle. You can obviously try, and you have to actually sometimes just go for it and try a few battles, losing the troops, because then you will learn it and see how this looks like. Oh, somebody's already on his cow dot. also trying to get some resources so if she going on this one we can go to some other place maybe see if it's worth it I'm not bothered about this basis that much more here definitely got the army no so he got the good researches stuff. Uh, maybe we're gonna place ourselves here. I ah, just attack. But remember, you can lose very easy this way. Because if that basis maybe looks normal, pretty, or something, it can be a case when they have full of troops. And then we will be in deep shit. A uh, very good is good way is to scout. Right, but with the attacks, it's difficult sometimes to make the videos because you need to focus, need to see what you're doing. You need. This one is empty, good to have, don't have a wall. That one. I'm gonna hit all of them. Alright, let's see. Does this one have anything left? 
Yes, he does. Perfect. So we continue. So we to hit this base definitely worth it okay scout again see if it's left anything for us Okay, one more. You know, and we could continue, we could try to do something, but let's not forget, some, someone can spot us, someone can watch it, watch what we're doing. And then, obviously, this kind of resources is quite nice. There's no point to lose it, you know. It's gonna be really big waste. So what we're doing is eight hours be shield, not using any more because it's probably are gonna play one more time or t twice. Uh, maybe gonna get on the game today. Who knows? Uh, so the only thing what I'm missing in here the most is iron. Yeah, castle as I mentioned once or twice is uh, really need the iron here. How is the last battle? Yeah, again, still two hundred fifty-six thousand food. So, after attack, straight what, you, what you're doing is changing your talents. Uh, I'm changing to income because it's a challenge today. Gonna be on some task, and we're changing to normal. Sometimes, uh, to be honest, guys, I don't understand how they're creating all this. I know it's a knight, it's a king, whatever, he's supposed to have uh, some some kind of outfits like this but they're supposed to be more to the subject for me you know if it's something with the cavalry uh, you know or artillery catapults or something with the fight any you know proper equipment for it if it's with the construction gonna be a hammer if it's with the research then something like a some some instrument from it you know not just every like one sword give me the the attack another sword give me the research no this is ridiculous this is this is the common mistake for many games and they have a uh, give you like a oh, look look at this equipment inventory right they give you loads of shit loads just so many kinds and you have to read it oh this one comparing between it's just give you so you know that kind of confusion just so you can actually see it out oh, this is all worthless yeah you know the best for you is just to buy the fucking pack you know spend the money that's the whole point probably in this make me really upset wasting lots of time you know is, and make those they should make those packs cheaper so the people not going to be feeling you know depressed after purchasing and oh, i'm not want to play this game anymore but i spend money because there are people like this as well, you know, they are all different. Someone might regret, right, spending a little bit more, but not the packs for like, f you know, one hundred dollars or, or more. And then some rich rich kid gonna, you know, buy a few packs and he gonna show off. Oh, I'm so strong, you know, I can destroy you all. Blah blah blah. Because spend the mommy and daddy's. Uh, money you know, or steal the credit card i heard about stories like this as well i'm sure you too you know it's like uh, hearing that the kids took the ipad and make the five thousand dollars purchase or, or even more so this is uh, 
this is weird <laughs> okay so what can I do now first of all I can't still can't do the promotion of those you need because I need seven almost seven and a half million iron but uh, I think uh, my base looks pretty good now with food although it's on the red so what I need to do now if I don't planning to attack anymore I need to lose some of the troops a very simple way to do that is just to hit rebels without even changing to attack I don't want to waste any of the second level ones to be honest I want to use them today on the challenge okay. because they take so much time to to kill them again and this is really annoying so I'm gonna hit some of those rebels until my level gonna drop quite good all right also I can obviously speed up um, this building two hours let's just do that okay I still go for free and let's build this one. like I said this is supposed to be done long time ago and this is supposed to be all over the place like keeper iron so you have uh, your basic uh, for supplies so uh, I mean food wood uh, iron and stone this is your basics on this side you need to build this those four buildings and then you should choose which resources you want to do I was thinking about doing the stone but this was in um, uh, that um, different stronghold from Sultan or something now I just thinking about food food supplies are always good you need to think about stuff like this because even if it's gonna, gonna turn off uh, red for a moment it's still gonna come in this situation where is more troops coming right I have um, two trainings on and this is this is almost like the second part of the previous video how to get resources and plan your attacks you guys see what I'm doing right I bookmarked this in before making the video I got a trading post when I want to go I got a few bases what I uh, which I want to hit or might doesn't mean this I will you know so everything trying to be updated here all the time even with there was that land there I, I I know at least where is this location so here yeah everyone trying to get some resources right now I see it so soon the big base is gonna wake up and they're gonna start hit others so this is uh, definitely not be a good time to be on trying to fighting that's a big mistake here I got some uh, food to sell 22% I might do it maybe not I don't want it here another some deals uh, this is the perfect spot right because with our ally it's all great deals here it's absolutely worth it to have a look buy some stone or whatever we need is just great okay so I getting a little bit closer here for now yes so I still need to save some lottery ticket and and then later play again to try to accumulate some teleports again because I just can't just jump from one place to another like today I already used three or four and I'm gonna use one more because when the this tasks are gonna start supplies I prefer to be on my territory and this is how you're playing that game basically that's my opinion 
but obviously you don't give guys have to wait for any any stupid task like I do you can you don't have to build your base properly right don't make a mess like in my base this is almost like on purpose for the video so those those barracks upgraded together with the with the main royal barracks right try to just always up keep it up and and this is very important you the guys don't have to even attack too much or gathering that whole army if you're gonna produ produce enough food you can keep selling and buying your, your other goods whatever you need so this is my tips what i can give you i hope you enjoy my video try to check it out others maybe you're gonna find something interesting if you have any questions leave the comment below i'll be very happy to answer it uh, loads of alliances i want to also mention still looking for new players we are in the kingdom uh, which kingdom we are 121 okay so loads of alliances looking for players so if you want to come in and join us in this uh, fantastic strategy then you are more than welcome but be prepared and you need to be a little bit more active you can't just mess around and do nothing and that's it so thanks guys and i will see you on my next video